Hi, I'm James Stenterford and welcome to Chamonix. This is Powder Basics with White Lines and in these short videos, I'm gonna show you how to get started in the deep snow and really enjoy what the mountains have to offer. Once you start riding off piece in natural terrain, quite a lot of the fun is looking for natural features to drop off. Initially, drops can be pretty intimidating because you're often you're riding off quite blind. So initially, the best thing to do is actually to go down and scope your landing. So go down onto the drop and have a look at the size of it, how far you're going to go. It's quite helpful also to throw a snowball just to give you an idea of the trajectory and uh, where you want to land. When you're throwing a snowball off a drop, make sure you don't just chuck it off willy-nilly. Obviously, try and get as low as you can so that you kind of mimic the trajectory that you're going to go off the drop. This will often give you quite a good idea of you know, how far you're going to go, where the landing is, how steep the landing is. You want to try and accumulate as much information as you can before you hit the drop to give you an idea of speed. The most difficult aspect of hitting cliffs and drops is generally working out how much speed you need to take. This is something that initially is really difficult, but with time you learn. So my suggestion would be that for your first few drops, you calculate where you're gonna go straight from, and that's your starting point, and you just point it straight. If you start coming in from higher and putting in a last minute speed check, it's gonna throw you off balance, and it's gonna make it much more difficult to land the trick. When you're scoping your drop, another good little extra is to draw a line in the snow with your board, which gives you an exact idea of the angle you're going to take off the jump. Drops are generally intimidating at first because you're taking off blind, so the more things you can do to make yourself comfortable, the better. Another common mistake, like when you're riding powder, is that people think because on landing they have to lean back, they tend to go off the jump in the back seat. It's really important that you stay nice and centred on your board when you take off so that you get a good pop or you absorb the drop well. Then once you come into land, you can decide whether you need to lean back or not. But if, unless you're centred, you're not going to be able to make any adjustments on landing. The angle of your landing is really important when it comes to drops. It'll determine the size of drop that you can land. Obviously, if it's really flat, it's going to be really hard to land. Although intimidating, a steep landing is much easier. So make sure that you factor that in when you look at your drop. The last factor when it comes to deciding the size of drop you're going to hit are obviously the snow conditions. When the conditions are average, make sure you just play around on the smaller drops and save the really big stuff for those epic powder days. So in summary, drops. Make sure you scope the drop before you hit it. Make sure you take a nice straight line into the drop and also stay centred over your board when you're dropping in. Thanks for watching Powder Basics. I hope you've picked up a tip or two and I'll see you on the hill.